How's your dinner? Where is she? I'll go check on her. Won't be a minute. Try to be patient, sir. If you don't go with Mother, I'm the freedom. All in one thing. Master, have you thought that perhaps this girl may be the one to break the spell? Of course I have. Oh, yeah, cool. Good. So you'll fall in love with her, she falls in love with you, and poof! The spell is broken. We'll be you and again by midnight. Lumina, it's not that easy. These things take time. But we don't have time. The rose has already begun to will. It's no use. She's so beautiful and I'm wrong. Look at it. Master, you must try to help her see past all that. But how? Well, you could start by trying to make yourself a little more presentable. <laughs> Present with your wrap your wit. But be gentle. Have our compliments. But be sincere. And above all, what? You must control your temper. Well, where is she? She's not coming. What did you say? She's not coming. See about that. Your work if you face your enemies does not be hasty. I thought I told you to come to dinner. I'm not hungry. I am the master of this castle, and I order you to come to dinner. Master, that may not be the best way to win the girl's affection. Please attempt to be a gentleman. I'll give her one last chance. Will you be so kind as to join me for dinner? Um. Please. No, thank you. Fine, star. Master, please. If she doesn't eat with me, she has to eat with anyone at all. Well, what would you have to do? Give up? I like this girl. I like this spot. Well, he asked me, she was just being stubborn. The master did say please. I think that may be the first time I've heard him use that word. Hello, baby. I hope the master didn't frighten you too much. He can be a little temperamental. A little? I'm Catherine, head of the household, and this is Lemire. I'm Chante, Mademoiselle. If there's anything we can do for you, anything, anything at all, well, I am a little hungry, except that. Papa, well, you heard what the master said. Oh, the fish pot. I thought about to let this poor child go hungry. Fine, glass of water, press the bread, and then... Papa, she's not our prisoner, she's our guest, and we must make her feel welcome here. Fine, dinner, but keep it down. If the master finds out, it'll be our next. Of course, of course. But what is dinner without a little music? Music?
your nest so you can climb off the bed now. Well, I couldn't possibly go to bed now. It's my first time in the Enchanted Castle. Perhaps you would like me to it? I'm not sure that's such a good idea. Perhaps you'd like to take me. I'm sure you know all there is to know about the castle. Well, actually I do, right this way. Okay, I can do this. Act like a gentleman. Act like a gentleman. This will be good. And that is, another, that is yet another example of the like neoclassic bureau people. And I always say, if it's not bureau, don't fix it. <laughs> now may I direct your attention to the flying buttresses above the Avery? Oh, Mir, it's also amazing. I had no idea. If only he were not here. Act like a gentleman. I'm not the good fool. And thanks to some quick thinking on my part, the disaster was averted. What's over there? Nothing. Nothing at all of any interest in the West Wing. Ah, so that's the West Wing. Nice going. I wonder what he's hiding in there. Um, perhaps, Mademoiselle, we'd like to see something else. Over here we have some exquisite tasers she's getting all the way back. <laughs> Don't touch that! I'm sorry. What are you doing here? I. I thought you told you never to come here. I know, but. Didn't you realize what you could have done? Get out! Out! Don't touch me! No, I. Promise or no promise, I don't stay in this castle. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to frighten you. It's just, you don't understand. There's so little left of me. So little left. <laughs> 